did you know that 20% of young men in their 20s, and sometimes even 30s, are still living at home with their parents? Startling, isn't it? This isn't about a generation enjoying the comforts of home. This is about a generation, Generation Z, that seems to be shunning the traditional roots of adulthood, college, work, independence. That's, they're not striving for degrees. They're not clocking in nine to five. They're leaning heavily on the bank of mom and dad. It's a trend that's causing ripples. And not just a within the family unit. It's a trend that could have far-reaching effects on our society, on our economy. We're seeing less contribution, less growth, less innovation. This isn't just about a few individuals choosing an easy life. This is about an entire generation, our future leaders, shying away from responsibility. This lack of work ethic found in Gen Z is not just a problem for them, but for everyone. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Let's dig deeper into this issue. It's not merely a matter of young adults choosing to remain nestled in their parents' abodes. The issue expands significantly when we start to examine other facets of Gen Z's work ethos. A startling statistic reveals that around one in five Gen Z individuals are not engaged in any form of education, employment, or training. It's a phenomenon known as being neat, and it's on the rise. This is not a small group we're talking about. Gen Z, those born between 1997 and 2012, make up nearly 27% of the global population. That's 2 billion people. And if one in five of them are disengaged, we're looking at 400 million young people worldwide who are not currently contributing to the workforce in any traditional sense. <laughs> And it doesn't stop there. A growing number of Gen Z individuals are expressing a distinct lack of interest in traditional employment. According to a recent survey, nearly 70% of Gen Z respondents said they'd prefer to be self-employed rather than work a traditional nine to five job. While entrepreneurial spirit is commendable, the reality is that not everyone can be their own boss. Moreover, Another survey found that over half of Gen Z respondents do not see the value in a college degree. This is a stark contrast to previous generations, where higher education was often seen as a key stepping stone to a successful career. In the face of these statistics, we have to ask ourselves, what is driving this shift? Is it a lack of ambition or is it a response to a world that is rapidly changing with traditional career paths no longer offering the security and fulfillment they once did? These numbers are more than just figures on a page. They're a reflection of a growing issue that we all need to address. So, what happens when a whole generation decides they don't want to work? Imagine this for a moment. Our economy, which relies heavily on the productivity of working individuals, could face a severe slowdown. It's like trying to drive a car with the brakes on. Without a steady influx of young, motivated workers, businesses could struggle to find the talent they need to innovate and grow. This could, in turn, lead to stagnation and a decline in economic growth. But it's not just about the economy. It's about society as a whole. A work-shy generation could lead to an increased reliance on welfare systems. Governments may find themselves shouldering the burden of supporting a large portion of the population that has chosen not to contribute to the workforce. This could lead to higher taxes for those who do work, straining the middle class and widening the gap between the rich and the poor. And what about our societal norms and values? A shift away from the traditional work ethic could lead to a change in how we view success and achievement. The age-old belief that hard work leads to prosperity could be replaced by a culture of entitlement, where individuals expect to be supported without contributing. The implications of Gen Z's lack of work ethic are far-reaching and could dramatically reshape our future. And not necessarily for the better. It's a challenge that we, as a society, need to address before it's too late. But it's not all doom and gloom. 
there's still time to address this issue. Let's use this platform to create a positive impact. Let's brainstorm together, share your thoughts and experiences. What drives you? What motivates you? How can we inspire this generation to step up, to take responsibility and to contribute actively to society? Remember, this isn't just about them. It's about all of us. We can all make a difference. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's start a conversation that could potentially change our future. Mm.